Well, I think they, um, you know, they started to play with a little bit more purpose, more physicality. You know, I thought early in the game, to your point, we were moving the ball, um, created easy offense for us, um, and we stopped, you know, playing that way for a stretch. Part of it, and give them credit, they, they started to up their intensity, um, and I think it took us out a little bit. Um, you know, that third quarter, obviously, it's not the way we want to start second half. Um, but, you know, I, I give those guys credit. You know, you make some changes and get some guys out there, and, you know, once again, and they, they get, after, get after it, and they got some quality minutes and got a chance to see some, uh, some pretty good things. It was good to see him out there. Um, you know, I know he's missed uh, quite a bit of time. Um, but I think he fits in seamlessly. You know, he's a guy who can make shots and his movement, uh, the cutting, it, you know, it's just, it creates a lot of, uh, you know, coverage confusion, whether he's slipping the space or cutting. He's a guy who can quick, quick shoot it off pin downs. So to have another guy out there, you know, obviously with, without Corey, um, it gives you the similar dynamic. Um, right now, just uh, an ankle sprain. That's all I know. And I'm assuming we'll know more, you know, this evening or early tomorrow. Well, it's got to be better. And, I mean, he's not the only one. It's collectively, it's got to be better. Um, you know, I think that's just something we have to continue to, to work on, and we got to find ways to, you know, be in the right spots at the right times. But you know, it's a, it's a five man game. It's it's not just him out there. Um, but we've seen it where he's been able to defend at a high level, and he's had stretches and moments. We just need it more consistently. Uh, without knowing the exact numbers, uh, he seems more confident. So you know, that's a that's a huge plus. Um, I still like the fact that he plays downhill. He wants to get to the paint. You know, I, th I think that dynamic opens up his three a little bit. You know, and um, make the spot up threes, get downhill, get to the free throw line, and um, you know, it's still a work in progress. But he's put a lot of time in it, and I think he's shooting it with confidence. Yeah, I mean, that plays into it, but and some of it is, you know, um, you know, making them take tough contested shots in the paint and you're trying to retreat with the roll. Um, you know, some of our smalls got to get in the mix and help. But you know, the flip side, you know, we were able to get down in, the, in their paint as well. You know, scored 74 in the paint. Um, would have liked us, you know, to defend a little better without fouling. You know, that was a point of emphasis going in, but... Uh, you know, I think that that's just one of those areas we have to control. Uh, a little better, uh, yeah. It was a little better. I mean, I think we were a little more balanced with Mike out there, just as far as spatially organ. You know, we were more organized. You know, that that group with uh, Kuz at the five hadn't played a ton of minutes, and it did some some things that we wanted to do defensively uh, as far as switching, but. Um, it throws you off, your rhythm off a little bit for a group that hadn't played together. So I thought we were a little better uh, with Mike. Yeah, it's just hard. You know, it's, you're trying to get minutes, you know, and then, you know, guys are kind of in and out. But, you know, those, those pairings are something you want to look at early in the, in the year, knowing, you know, at times it, it could be injury, absence, what have you. Um, there's a comfortability with that maybe. Do you feel out there in terms of the rhythm of just in terms of the guys? Um, I mean, you know, obviously, last time I've um, played was, you know, playoffs in May. Uh, you know, so um, missing out on camp sucks, uh, but is what it is. So um, I think, you know, rhythm-wise, I'm more concerned on the defensive end. Um, you know, just your... Just the little things, picking up on new concepts. I've been had a different terminology for the last three years, and then you know here there's just different nuances and stuff. So um, getting used to them, doing it in the flow of a real five-on-five -five action, um, and uh, you know that's more what I'm concerned about. That and 
just my legs, conditioning that, that comes with time. So, uh, you know, overall, you know, I feel fine, feel better if we'd gotten a win, but um, I'm building, I'm getting there. Just generally, since we haven't talked to you for a while, how are you feeling you can bring most to this group that is still kind of I don't know, more of an intangible thing. I mean, I know that what I'm capable of offensively, defensively, I don't really want to you know, dive into all that, but just, you know, I want to grasp a, a leadership role in here, and I feel like, you know, I've already started to have a lot of good conversations with the guys. I feel like one, I've, you know, been on a lot of winning teams around a lot of winning basketball, and I want to be able to try to implement things here and help us, our young guys, you know, grow as much as we can. So, um, I mean, I'm just looking forward to, you know, getting on the court and, um, you know, being able to be a, you know, contributing factor to you know us, you know, growing through this thing and getting better. You see that the team needs to improve to avoid some of these large, large runs. Well, you, I mean, you said it. Um, that's it's just the larger uh, runs and the swings. Uh, it's more of an influx, up and down, bigger up and downs. Uh, you know, the better teams, typically those up and downs are. Uh, fewer and further between, um, less violent, um, <clears throat> you know, so I think figuring out ways where we can, you know, okay, they went on an 8-0 run, settle back in real quick, we know what we're doing, um, communication goes up, we can fix the little things that we can control and you weather a run, um, and just finding ways to, to do that a little bit better. I think that's a big piece and that's, you know, how a lot of good teams win, win basketball games. So uh, I think if we can find ways to do that, we'll be in a better spot. Uh, I mean, doing things on my feet it was pretty quick. After honestly, I mean, I was it was, it was weird. Recovery from this injury was very very strange. Um, uh, I mean, I was like not able to walk all the way normal, but I was doing stuff on court. So that seems like kind of backwards. Uh, but you know, our training staff did a great job, and I trust them. And um, so I was able to do stuff kind of on the court, explore a little bit, but not really like. You know, basketball. I wasn't able to play basketball. So, um, really, in the last like week was when I was able to, you know, get into some actual basketball stuff. Uh, so, you know, I'm still, you know, I haven't had a training camp, and it's my first time playing, you know, since like pickup this summer, and um, I'm getting there. What did, you, what did you see from that group that closed the game, kind of trimmed down the Atlanta lead? Uh, I mean, they played the right way. Uh, played with energy. Um, they were connected, junked up the game. Um, you know, you throw a full court press, like a weird zone trapping press at an NBA team for, you know, I mean, that we don't, you don't see that a lot. Um, so, it, you know, it dis, kind of disorganized them and sped them up. And uh, they just, you know, our, our guys played the right way, finished out the right way, um, competed defensively. Um, and just played hard and played physical, and that's what you want to see.